Hi, this is Marloom's Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to create these baby bunnies on your rainbow loom. I created the larger ones on my channel, and then I created the baby ones after that, and a lot of people wanted to know how I made it, so I will show you how. I also created this little one with a dress and a bow, but for today I'm just going to show you how to do the one in the diaper. You're going to need um, just to choose two colors, so I'm going to be doing the purple one for today, and I'm going to be needing, um, you will be needing purple and white if you want to make the gray bunny, you're going to need um, white and gray, and also two colors for the diaper strap, and because this is a girl bunny, I'm using pink, if you want it to be a boy bunny, you can use um, two blue straps. So gather your white bands and your um, color of the bunny, your main color. And also I'm going to be using three pony beads, tiny ones. I'm using two black and a pink for the eyes and nose. If you don't have a pony bead, it's okay. You can use bands. And when we get to that part, I will show you what to do. So let's begin by making the bunny's ears. The first thing you're going to do is grab two bands that represent the color of your bunny and place it, I'm sorry, actually one band and place it on these three pegs like that. So it's one band and then take two bands and place it on those two pegs and on these two. Then we're going to grab our white bands, a single only. So we place two here, two purple here, two and two. Grab a single white band. This was a single. Place another single here and another single here. Grab two more purple bands and you're going to place it on these three pegs like that. Then you're going to grab another single purple band and wrap it around this peg four times and then another single purple take it twist it around itself and place it from here to here like that and that's one of your bunny's ears and we're going to do that again so just grab a single purple band and place it on these three pegs like that we're just skipping this so it's not together take two purple bands, place it there, two here, and two there, and two there. Then grab your white bands, and place one here, one. You can put two in the middle if you want it to be thicker, that's okay. Here's what it looks like using a single white. If you want it to be thicker, you can use two. Now take two purple bands and place it on these three pegs. Take your single band again, wrap around that peg four times. Grab a single purple, wrap it around itself, and place it over those three. So now we're going to loop these. You're going to push back the capping and you're going to be grabbing one of these purple bands. There's two here. So you're just going to grab one and bring it to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter. Reach in, grab the other purple, bring it to the other peg, reach in again, bring the white forward. So we brought one to the left and right and one to the middle. You can then reach in here and bring the purple forward and make sure you push back that triangle band Bring the bottom two forward. Same here. Bring the bottom bands forward. Make sure you're pushing that triangle band back and grabbing the bottom and bringing that forward. Reach in here, push back that purple band. Bring the white forward and bring this white forward. Now what I do is I remove the white 
and put it on my hook. And then I grab this purple first and loop it. I looped it to that. And then I grab this purple and I loop it. And in case you can't see what I'm doing, I looped the purple, these, these two purple bands to the middle peg, and then I'm bringing these two white over so that when we loop it, the white is standing out. And then you can take them off your hook. And if you have a spare hook or a toothpick, it's a good idea to place the bunny ears on the hook because if you take it off and put it to the side, it's going to fall apart. So let's do this one too. We're going to reach in, push the capping band back, grab one of the purple bands and bring it to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter. And then the other one to the other side and reach in and grab the white band and bring it forward. Push back that triangle band, loop those purple forward, push back this triangle, and loop that forward, and then reach in here and push that purple band away, grab the white band and bring it forward, and the same with this white band, bring that forward, and then this is when I did that same thing, I removed the white bands, and you can leave it like that actually, it won't pop off. And you're just going to bring this single purple band to the middle, this single purple to the middle, and take your hook and go through both of those white bands, and you want to place it on that hook. And then just take your hook and remove the other ear to your bunny. And now we're going to make the bunny's cheek extension. So you're going to grab two white bands and place it anywhere in your loom, it doesn't matter. And then another two, so it looks like that. Then grab another two, and not together, not joined. Place two there, and two here. Now grab a single white band and wrap it around this peg only three times a single white band and wrap it around this peg only three times. And then we can loop these. Grab my spare hook. We can loop them. And once you have finished looping, you can take it off of your hook. And these you can place off of your hook and place it aside because they shouldn't fall apart. But I'm just going to transfer them onto my other hook. And just leave them there. And then we are going to make the bunny's arms. So you're going to grab the color that matches your bunny, the main color. So mine is purple. And you're going to grab two purple and go down three times and you're going to do that again do not connect it because this will become a separate arm now so it's you went down three and then you did not connect it and you went down another three take a single band and wrap it around the end peg four times on one of the arms and the same on this arm wrap it around that end peg four times again we're going to loop push the capping band back and you're just going to bring all these bands forward and the same with this one push the capping band back grab the bottom two purple and you're just going to loop forward And now you have, this is one arm, the other. And 
the leg is the same thing, three and three. So you can do the same thing and just grab the leg. I think actually the leg you don't need to because it's it can be made um, on the loom. So just all you need is the arms, the two ear, and the cheek. And now we can begin to make our bunny. So the first step is you're going to grab double purple and make sure your loom is set up in the staggered configuration where the middle row is above the other two. And grab your two purple and place it on those two. And then place two there. So we place two more sets on this side using purple. And do the same on this side. And then after, in the middle, we're going to go down two times using purple. So it's one set and the second. Oops, I messed up. Over here, remove this one. I missed. You should have one, two, three, and one, two, three, and for purple, and then in the middle, just two. So it should just only be one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two in the middle using purple. And now we're switching to white. And using your white bands, you're going to go down once with white, once on this side, one in the middle, another two in the middle, then take two more and from this peg to this peg. So it should look like that. And then the same from this to this. So that is what yours should look like so far. Like that. If you want, you can take the ears of your bunny and you can place it on this peg. I place it with the white the one that's um, all the white is showing. So if you have your hook backwards, you can just open it up. Make sure you're grabbing every band and you're just going to place it on that peg right there. And then the same on this side. Make sure it's the one with all the white showing. And now we're going to begin with the bunny's body. You're going to grab your purple bands and make the neck. So it's two purple bands from here to here. That's the neck. Looks like that. And then we're going to make the right and left shoulder. You're going to go to the right and to the left. And then using the purple again, you're just going to go down one time on each row using purple. So one time there, one here, and then one here. And now this is the time to choose the color of the diaper strap that you want. I'm using a pink. And when you chose the color, you're going to take that color and wrap it around this peg two times. And the same on here, two times. Just these two pegs. And then after that, you're going to be using the white bands now to make the diaper. So grab your white bands. And you're going to place two white bands here. here, two here, another two here, two in the middle, and 
and then from the middle peg to the out peg to the outer one and then again from the middle to the outer peg and so you should have this is what yours should look like so far and now we're going to make the bunny's legs so you're going to go down on each row three times only using double purple go down three and then the same on this side And then you're going to cap that, take your single purple, wrap it around this peg four times, take another single purple, wrap it around this peg four times. And that's your capping. And now you can grab your bunny's arms and place it on this peg. And then your other arm on the other side, on this peg. You can take your bunny's cheeks, take your hook and go through all those loops. Make sure you're grabbing four loops. And you're gonna place this cheek on this peg right here, right there. Take your hook, go through the three loops. Make sure you're only grabbing three and that's when we wrapped it around three times and bring it to the peg above and the same thing grab the other cheek extension and you're placing the loops on this peg take your hook go through the three loops and place it on the peg above and so that's your cheek extension for your bunny and now we're going to do the eyes. I'm using pony beads, but if you do not have a pony bead, I'm going to show you the two steps. I'll show you how to do it with bands if you don't have it. So if you don't have pony beads, you're going to be grabbing a single black band and wrapping around your hook four times like that and then you're going to take that black, those black bands and transfer them onto that single white band. So you took a single white band and then you did like that. Then while you have this on your hook, you're gonna take this loop, twist it and put the hook through it. And the same on this loop now, put it on your hook, twist and put your hook through it again. And now that's one eye I'm going to do that again. Take a single black band, wrap it around your hook four times. Take a single white band, transfer these onto that single. While you have this on your hook, take this loop, twist it, and put your hook through it. The same with this loop. Put it on your hook, twist, and put your hook through that loop. And that's what your second eye should look like. And then you're taking these, again, and grabbing a purple band, single purple, and transferring all this onto the single purple band. So what I do is I slowly, if I pinch them, I, I can get them all on there. You want to make sure that you get them all on there. And the same with this one. Pinch them. And bring them up and now this is your bunny's eyes that's one set the other and then you would place it on these two pegs right here and you would separate the eye and it would go on these two pegs but then you would take your hook and you would push it through this middle band right here and there's see the opening and you place one of the bands above on that hook above now one eye would lean to the left and to the right. As far as your nose, you would take a single pink band and you would wrap it around your hook four times. 
then you would take another single pink and twist it around itself so it's very tight transfer these onto that band like that take this hook put it through that loop and now you have a nose but then you're going to place this onto a white band so you would just pull it through and that's your bunny's nose and that will go on these two pegs like that and that would be your eyes and your nose but for my tutorials I do like to use beads so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single white band place it through my small pony bead that's pink and just place it from here to here it's that simple and for the eyes it's just a little a little similar like the band you take a single white place it through the pony bead again a single white place it through the pony bead and then you're going to take your loop put it on your hook twist it and put your hook through it same with this one put this loop on your hook twist and put your hook through it and that's one eye it goes there the second time take the loop put it on your hook twist go through again twist and go through and then you're transferring these onto a single purple so it's the same concept as the bands so I just pinch them and bring them over and the same with these and then my eyes go on these two pegs and again you separate them you find the opening between the two bands and put one band above that peg and then you're going to grab a single white band and place it, it's a triangle band, on these three pegs. One, two, three. That's where I put it. I'll do that again on these three. And then you're going to grab another single white band and you're going to place it on these three pegs. And we do need a triangle band on these three, but we have to wait till we bring the diaper straps up. So just keep an extra white band to the side. Make sure you place your triangle band here. So now we can loop. Take your capping, push it back, and grab the bottom two purple bands and bring it up. And the same with these. Bring these forward and bring these forward. So let's do the same here. Push the capping, bring the bottom two purple forward. These and the same with these. Now you're going to reach in to this peg, but you're going to grab the first set of white bands, not the bottom. So reach in and you're grabbing the first set and bringing that to the middle. The same here, just the first set of white bands, the first two white bands and bring it to the middle. Then you can re-enter this peg and grab the second set and bring it forward. The same here, the second set, bring it forward. Reach here, push back every band except for the bottom two right there and bring that forward. And now we're going to push this triangle band back Grab the bottom two white, bring that forward, again here, bring these forward, and now this is when we turn our loom to the side, take our hook, grab these two pink bands, bring them up and over, and here too. Take our hook, take the two pink bands, bring them up and over, and then you take your hook and you remove just the top two. There's two here and two there. Take the top two off for a second and place a single white band on there and then replace that strap and then you can place it over this one and same step for this one just remove the top two it's not difficult put the loop on there and now we made a triangle and then replace it and that's it now let's not forget to loop the middle and reach in here push back that triangle band Grab the bottom purple, or whatever color your bunny is. Same here. Bring that forward. Don't forget this part, the middle. 
reach in here where the arm is and push back every band and just grab for the bottom two purple bands bring it to the middle again here push back every band except for the bottom two purple and bring that to the middle reach into this one where the neck is and push all the bands back bring the purple forward and you will bring the bottom two purple forward and now over here you're going to grab the very top two bands that you find and my top two are going to the right and then my next top two bands if you pull on it you can see it wants to go to the left and then the remaining goes in the middle you can loop the middle make sure the nose pops through reach in here push back all the bands grab the bottom two and loop that forward and the same here what we did was we reached in and just grabbed the bottom two so we're pushing all this back and then grabbing the bottom two and looping forward push all the bands and just aim for the two purple same with this one bring these two purple bands forward be careful over here because we have the eye band so move the eye band back grab the two purple bring that forward same here there's an eye band right here you're going to push that back and then grab the bottom two purple that are underneath it and bring that forward here too this is this little eye band push that back grab the two purple bring that forward and now the last step is grabbing these two purple bands that are by the ears the bottom two bring that to the middle peg the same on this side pushing the ear back and grabbing the bottom two and then we're going to take our hook grab two purple bands pull it through bring it up place both loops onto your hook bring the first loop over and you're going to pull and that is your slip knot and you can just pull let's remove them from the loom bunny You're going to take the eye and bring it forward, bring it forward, and then take the nose and pop it through. If you have bands, you're going to have to pull it through. And then as far as the um, strap on the top, you can use that to hang. You can hide it in the back if you don't want the straps. What I did is, if you don't want the straps to show, you can take one strap and wrap it around each ear twice like this and then it gets hidden and then it's safe that your um, bunny won't fall apart or you can take it off and if you have one of these hooks I found them at um, Joann's Fabrics you can take your two loops and I use two because I, I feel like it's safer that it won't fall apart and you can put it through the whole of your hook and then what I do is just manually I take my hand and I pull it through another loop so I pulled it through the loop and once you pull that through the loop you can then take this back loop and put the hook through it again and then it makes this neat little knot and then there you go and you can put that on your backpack and then it won't get lost so that is how you make your um, baby bunny if you want to know how to make the bow it's really nothing special what I did was I used I grabbed green bands you can make the bow any color you want 
and I went down my loom three times using double green and then I did that again separately not connected so I went down again three times and then I capped this only three times not four so one two three and then I looped both of these pieces And you can remove that and then again loop this one let's do that over so just grab this and loop it once you've looped both you can remove it from your room And then what I did was I, while both of them were on my hook like this, I took the hook and I put it through this bottom loop like that and faced it to the right. And then I take this loop and I put it over my hook. And then it looks weird now, but it'll look better in a minute. And then I take a single green band, and this is a little tricky, and then I bring each loop over and transfer it onto that single band. If you want to try to pull them through you can, I don't know if they'll come off, but I just take each of the loops and I brought it over until they're all onto that single band. So now they're all on that single band like that. Then I take my hook and I grab the other band and I created the slip knot. And I pulled it really tight. If you pull tight and then you take that loop and you wrap it around the middle like two times or three depending and then you can grab um, one of those bubble bands I don't have it right now with me so I'll just use purple and wrap it around two times and then take another and wrap that around two times and then it can look like a mini bow and you can even use the one of the purple bands and just place it over the ear like that and then it just looks like a little mini bow so that's how you make your baby bunny on your rainbow loom and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you did please subscribe